This should probably have been the first video I posted on YouTube, but it isn't, so here it is now. This really is a message to all the atheists out there about why we shouldn't be opposed to religion or theism, in fact, but certain things that can be derived from them. Let's look briefly at theism, just as belief in God. Let's leave all kind of organized religion out of it for the moment. Now, what's the problem with theism? All theism is, is belief in an intelligent being that exists somehow outside the universe. That's all it is. What exactly are the problems with this? None, to be perfectly honest. If you want to believe in such a thing via faith, that's fine. The only issue that any of us should have with theism is if this belief inspires a mistrust in science or, or a mistrust in reason. I think that's all that we should be worried about. Theism in itself is a perfectly balanced position. I mean, my videos on YouTube here are not aimed against theism. My videos are trying to show that theism cannot be validated either logically or scientifically. That's all I'm trying to show. I'm not trying to rail against anyone's right to have faith. Once we've looked at theism, we've got religion. Religions are simply institutions built around theism. And what exactly is the problem with religion? I've heard many people argue, including, you know, very prominent atheists such as Dawkins and Hitchens and all these other people, and not to mention the millions of people on YouTube, that religion itself is oppressive, it's wrong, it's controlling, it's all these things, and I would have to disagree. It's not religion that's the problem. And the problems that we see in society and why, you know, there's so many outspoken atheists out there is not because of this existence of a religious institution based around a belief in God. It's what's derived from this religion. It's dogma and authority that are the main problems. Dogma, strict, unchanging belief, uh, and unacceptance of anything outside that. Now, that's a major problem. I do accept that religion does lead to a lot of dogma, but I wouldn't say that religion can't exist without dogma. Authority, people in high places and in religious institutions uh, misusing their power of authority, their ability to connect to a lot of people, to inspire them to do various things. Now, I think, really, this misuse of authority is actually part of dogma. If we manage to somehow abolish dogma in religion, it's possible. I mean, look at the Church of England, for example. It's dogma that leads to disparity between groups. It's dogma that tells people to do bad things in the name of their god. It's dogma that enables figures of authority to enforce stupid rules. It's only dogma that's the problem. If you take the dogma out of religion, what are you left with? You're left with a series of cultural practices which bring people together, uh, give them a sense of common ground. You've got no more intolerance between the religions anymore because people are allowed to freely think. And what are you left with? You're essentially left with humanism, plus a lovely bit of culture, um, plus a belief in God. Now, atheists out there may argue that this belief in God is still a problem, but what's wrong with it? There's nothing derived from it that's, that's intolerant or bad anymore. So, in conclusion, don't have a problem with religion as a whole and theism as a whole. Please distinguish between them and the problems of mistrusting science and reason, or misuse of science and reason, and on the other hand, a misuse of dogma and authority.